Hey guys, make sure you stand till the end. If you make one common mistake, you may end up spending hundreds, even thousands of dollars on parts and diagnostics you don't need. Make sure you stand till the end. We will explain what we are talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a Chevy Tahoe or Suburban that generation here from year 2006 to year 2014. If you have one of those, if you need to find where the cooling fan relay is located, which relay you need to check, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Why it's important to always test fuses and relays. All that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stand tuned. The end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. If you have a Chevy Tahoe or a Suburban, practically they are built on the same platform. We'll be making a video about every single fuse relay in that SUV. Why? Because let's say you're down the road, you need to find where the fuse for fuel injectors, fuel pump, ignition coils is located. That way you can fix your SUV and be back on the road. We will have that information. You'll just spend a minute or two watching the video, fix it and it will take care of that problem. Now, every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them guys completely apart. We show you how to do engines, transmissions, mechanical, body work, and we have more than 12,000 free repairs on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. In addition, guys, if you need to buy any parts, tools, fuses, relays at a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money and time, we will put the links in the description of the video below for your convenience. So let's start on it now. So the cooling fan relay, where you can expect to find it guys, we will demonstrate on that generation Chevy Tahoe right here. Chevy Suburban is the same vehicle, just uh, on, uh, practically a little bit longer on the back. They're built on the same platform. You will guys have three different fuse boxes in that SUV. Today we work in one of them under the hood. If you open the hood facing the engine on the right side, you need to remove that cover. Underneath you'll find the main engine fuse box and that fuse box will have a layout that will look exactly like this one here. Before we guys continue, let's explain quickly why it's important to always test fuses and relays. So now why it's super important guys to test fuses and relays because often you may think you have a good fuse right but uh, it could be guys a bad fuse sometimes it's really hard to tell it's hard to see you have different kinds of fuses and each one of those guys it, let's say you think it's a good fuse but it's actually bad you may end up spending time money on parts and uh, repairs that you don't need so always test fuses it takes only uh, a few seconds we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses and how to test relays as well relays are easy to test uh, that way you can eliminate that possibility for something uh, that uh, that's not necessary guys so check out the links will be in the description of the video below so for the cooling fan you have three different relays that we need to check oh by the way if you guys need to buy any fuses relays parts tools for chevy tahoe suburban or any car at a good price quick shipping we will put the link in the description of the video below that way you do not waste money and time Coming in that section here guys, that relay here is for the cooling fan high speed. This relay is for the cooling fan low speed. You have one more and it's for the cooling fan control module and we're talking about this relay right here. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to let us know. Hopefully guys, the video was helpful and see you next time. 